Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. This video is again about self-sufficiency. I've got about 100 different questions from people that asking me how the lamp is, if it is still alive and if it is well and how it is going. So maybe you don't um, see the video, I've posted this a few weeks ago. A few days after my own son was born, um, also an animal here at my self-sufficiency farm was born, a little lamp. It came to the world healthy and everything was fine. It looks fine. But um, after one day, I found out that the mother sheep had no milk to feed the lamb. So the doctor, the animal doctor came and checked everything, if uh, the body, everything is okay. And he made an injection with something that should um, let the sheep produce milk, but it doesn't work. So the mother of the lamb had no milk and so it came that um, I had not only my own child to feed I had also the little sheep here at my self-sufficiency farm um, to feed it with the bottle and it was a very very difficult and hard time because like a little baby the baby lamb had also is also hungry every few hours so I had to feed my own baby and then go to um, the sheep and make the milk. Um, it is a milk powder that I had to, um, to put together with hot water and shake the bottle and then it is ready so and then I, I had to go here to the meadow and catch the little lamp that was also very difficult and then feed it and um, this time was very very hard without much sleep but um, yeah this time is over now here's a short review to the beginning okay. good master this Gut. Ja, mir holf mit dem Kleiner bloß. Hm. Na Kim, nochmal. Hallo, hallo. Nimm mir mal wieder dein Baby, gell? Na Kim, kleine Dame. You can see here in the background, in the shadow from the tree, is the little lamp. It is lying actually, but you will see it later. It is absolutely healthy and well, and it made a great job. Silly, come. This here is the mother from the little lamp, Zilli. She's doing a great job. job. She loves the little lamp and carry it, but um, she had no milk. Here she goes, the little lamp called Fini. And you can see she is still eating by herself and this is great. The lamp had a good contact to the mother. She always walk with the mother and the mother lick hair. And when I am coming 
the little lamp is walking behind the motor, so everything is fine. Today needs the little lamp no bottle anymore. The animal doctor said that it is okay. It is still um, eating grass, it is drinking at yourself water and it looks fine. So you see it at yourself, it looks very healthy. And at the beginning, I don't know if it makes it or not. So there is always, there can always be the situation there that the lamp is die, is, is dead, but um, everything works and yeah, your thoughts works here and many, many thumbs are crossed and it works. So here we are and the lamb is alive and we are all happy. So I tell you that it was a lot of work and long days and short nights with the little lamp. Um, with the time between um, feeding to the next feeding process. So uh, the energy is very empty after these days, but I had a great help. Lear is my neighbor and she helped me a lot through this time. So she helped me to catch the little lamb because the last time it was very difficult. It was so hard to catch it because it runs away all the time. And when I want to drive away for a few hours, she was still there and watch if everything is okay and make the bottle and feed the bottle to the little lamp. So without her, it wasn't impossible. And I ask you for a name for the little lamp. And um, I've, you, you sent me many, many great names. But I thought that this is the part of Leah um, I let her choose the name and she chose the name Fini. So she helped me so much with the little lamp and so the name from the lamp is till now Fini. So just say again thank you for the great work. It wasn't alone me, I had a great help. Cheep cheep. Cheep cheep. I told you in the last self-sufficiency video that some bad things happen here at the farm. So someone was opening the, the gates and yeah, it was always something with the animals. So I've bought some gooses in the spring this year and they are now very big. So they're growing almost, but um, they are really, really big now and the, they are so, so lovely. They always come to me when I feed them and I, I huggle them and I just love, love them. And they are a very, very efficient alarm system because he makes always noise when someone is coming. So when I hear them, I always know that someone or something is around. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Last week, as I make the flood, the high water video for you, we had some days with very much rain. But before these days, it was dry a long time, so the meadow can't grow. And I had to put some water on the meadow that the grass is a little bit growing, because otherwise I had to buy food and this is very expensive.
it is too hot for the sheep so they are laying the whole day into the shadow so the water is on but they don't want to get on shower because they hate water so they're just laying around here the whole time that was it from me for today so you see all your prayers all your nice words all your thumbs crossed are doing a great job so the lamp is still alive i think she is healthy and will um, grow bigger than it is an adult so everything is fine thank you for going with me through the process and i hope we see us again at the next video so have a good time bye bye <laughs>